Creativity pretty much comes from encounters early in life. For one thing, are you going, it, it's, it's similar, this is a totally different topic, but are you going to care about school or not care about school? Turns out when you're eight years old, that's when it shows. You can tell which ones at eight years old have kind of given up on school, not going to be that important, they're not going to really try hard, and, and then a different class that is. So entrepreneurship or creativity, you know, you have influences. You see <clears throat> certain TV shows and movies. You have certain conversations with friends. And sometimes they boil down to people that invent new things. My favorite books when I was very young, in elementary school even, me and a few other, I'm going to call them electronics kids, on our block, our brand new block surrounded by orchards when Silicon Valley was a real valley. And we would, play, we would buy Tom Swift Jr. books and read about this young engineer who had friends and had girlfriends and had a father and he owned a company with his father. If there was a tragedy on earth, he'd go into a laboratory and, and design and build a solution within a couple weeks. And uh, this, These were our heroes, you know. Who are your heroes when you're young? And you grew up thinking, gosh, if I could ever build those. And we had science fairs. Science fairs are outside of school. School usually says, you learn this, you take these tests, you have the same answers as everyone else, and we call you intelligence. But a science fair is your own project. You make it up on your own, and you create something, and it, it's kind of out of the ordinary and impresses people. And I had all sorts of very top winning science fair projects in the computer area. So I just felt, good, if I have an idea, you know, play a game of tic-tac-toe and never lose. Build a machine that can add numbers. I could sit down with hundreds of transistors and hook wires together. I knew how to do it and make them actually do calculations and stuff. And I just loved doing this because I was good at it. No other thing. Um, one of the things you can do if you know electronics and how to solder pieces together with a soldering iron, connect them all. Back in those days, you could build your own ham radio and I built my own transmitter. I built my own receiver kit, every bit of it I built myself, and I was only 10 years old, and I got a license, and now I was a ham radio operator with a telegraph key typing out messages. These things are fun. You know, to some, you either discover in your life, I want to be a part of all these new things and creating new things, and uh, that was in me. So it, and it's in a lot of people to this day, but then a lot of other people just sort of get turned off by it early, they didn't get inspired at an early enough age, and it's hard to turn them into real creative uh, innovators in the future.